KZN ANC leader Sikhiz Galala and other ANC leaders visited the home of uh, murdered former Mayor Maxwell Hadebe earlier this morning at Ndwendwe in Guazulu Natal. Our reporter Vuskumalo is following the story on the murder. Let's cross live to him. A very good morning to you, uh, but what is happening where you are? Yes, uh, thanks a lot. Uh, yes, we are uh, at the scene where by Mr. Maxwell uh, Hatebe was tragically killed on Thursday night. We understand that he was busy at his business premises, as you can see in my background. This is one of the taverns uh, that he was manning on Thursday night when he was killed. And then we are told that uh, the assailants or the intruders that killed him uh, ran on foot from this very, very uh, uh, tavern here at Android area. Earlier on, we spoke to a uh, the ANC chairperson in Guazul Natal or oh, is also in his capacity as the premier of the province, Mr. Silas Zigalala, who expressed his shock as well as sadness at losing Mr. At the age of 50 years, uh, he was saying that uh, uh, Mr. Hatebe was one of those hardworking uh, persons within the ranks of the ANC. We understand that he was the mayor as from 2011 up until 2016. That was one term. Uh, he was the mayor at the time when it was not fashionable being an ANC foot soldier at this area of Ndwete because we understand that previously it was held by the IFP in this area of Ndwete. What is the delegation, the ANC delegation that has come through uh, saying, uh, Vosi? Yes, the delegation led by Sile Zigalala were here to express their words of condolences uh, to the family of, of, of Khatebe down in the deep rural area of, 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 of Ndwetwe. Uh, Mrs., Mrs., Mr. Sile Zigalala was saying that uh, uh, Mr. Khatebe was one of the hardworking persons within the ranks of the ANC. He was saying that uh, at the time he was, he was killed, he was, not, uh, he was just an ordinary member after being the, ma after being the mayor uh, of, the a of, of the area of Ndwetwe from 2011 up until uh, 2016. But at the time of his death, he was just an ordinary member. Uh, we understand that uh, knowing Mr. I mean, having worked with him as a journalist as well as being a mayor, uh, Mr. Hatebe was one of those harmless people you, you can ever meet. Uh, he was hardworking, uh, he was down to earth. Uh, the, the family also spoke fondly of him, uh, saying that they've lost a very, very harmly person in their midst. And we are told that he has left behind his wife as well as four children behind who are still very, very, very young. In the general conversation of political killings in Guazulu Natal, what everyone is wondering right now is if he wasn't in office anymore, what brought about the killing? What, what, what kind of conversations are taking place? Uh, what we are getting here is that uh, from Sile Zigalala, he was saying that even though the criminal, I mean, the, the investigation is yet to be, I mean, I mean f finished or completed, but he was asking the law enforcement agencies to cast their investigation nets very wider and also look at the political killings, as well as he was saying that uh, it could have been an element of criminality. But what is currently happening in Kazakhstan is that uh, since from early 2011, there's been so many killings. M the majority of them were, were political. Uh, since uh, the, the, the findings of the Murani Commission uh, that's released, I mean, findings to say that uh, some of these killings were just uh, of material greed and, and also people were fighting for positions of, of being the councillors. But we are also seeing now uh, other people now being killed as uh, Mr. Khate was just killed, I mean, on Thursday night. Uh, uh, people are saying that it could have been a criminality on this matter. But uh, we are told that uh, the investigation is being led by the Hawks, which is also one of the task teams uh, investigating the political killings in Guazulu Natal. Well, thank you very much uh, for that update. Do you know if there are any uh, latest uh, developments in terms of police investigations? 
Yes, uh, the investigation is ongoing, but uh, we are told that uh, no one has been arrested yet. I mean, all other teams, um, I mean, police teams are all also ensuring that all hands are on deck to ensure that uh, the perpetrators are brought to book in this matter. Musi Kumalo is our colleague based in the KZN Durban office. Let's take a break.